Hey folks, Dan Furrier here with your closing bell for August 12th, 2024. So the markets are completely flat right now, completely flat. What's it waiting for? Well, there's a, something that's really waiting for and it's right up through there. So it says stock futures are a little changed as investors await key inflation data. So what inflation data is coming out? Well, tomorrow we have some producer price inflation coming out. That's gonna be reported at 7.30 in the morning. And then the following day we have consumer, the CPI, which is consumer inflation. So PPI, producer inflation, CPI, consumer inflation. Where do we expect these things are gonna go? And what do we think that the Federal Reserve is going to do and what are the markets going to do? Well, let's get over to that to take a little bit of a quick peek into this. So if you go over to the, the, the broad markets right now, you're seeing basically nothing transpiring, nothing. But here's an article that just popped up earlier today. Three-year inflation outlook hits record low in the New York Fed Consumer Survey. So that's interesting to note. And I'm going to show you also what the CME FedWatch tool is doing. Right now, there's a 52% chance the Federal Reserve is going to cut rates by a quarter percent. That's what I'm going to say they're going to do. This chart had actually basically a, a, over a 50% chance the Federal Reserve was going to cut over a half a percent uh, last week. So these numbers are moving uh, every day, all day. So pay attention. Visit me every day to figure out what the new is looking like and where mortgage rates are going from here. That's the data that we have so far. So let's take a little bit of a glimpse on what's going to go on or what I expect to happen with the producer price index. So here's where we were just back about a year ago. The producer prices were up 11%. This is what basically pushed the inflation levels to the highest levels we've seen in decades. Where are we now? Well, it came way down and it, it peaked up a little bit. It depends on which one you look at. Do you look at the core, the seasonally adjusted or what? But the trajectory is way down. Okay. The next piece of this is consumer inflation. Did you realize the last time that the consumer uh, inflation number was read, it was negative. Here it is right here. This is from the Federal Reserve. You can go through here. This is the, C the uh, consumer price index. Here's where it's been all over the map. Remember the PPI was over, you know, it was way up there last year at this time. Well, so was consumer inflation. It was all the way up there. If you scroll down through here, here's where it is. So, so far in 2024, we started the year at 0.3 up and this goes month over month. Then it went to 0.4 and everybody started freaking out. Here we go. The inflation numbers are going to go up again. And then they turned around, came back down. They went from 0.4 to 0.3 to zero to negative 0.1. So will the negatives continue? We'll find that out all this week. Okay, so based on the news that we have today, or basically no news today, the bond market's virtually flat. So we don't see really any changes in mortgage rates from today until tomorrow when this news gets posted right through here. And this will be a market mover unless it comes in dead nuts on right exactly where it is. So if this comes in at a 0.1, you're going to see the markets rally and markets might rally big. If you see that as a zero, it's going to rally really big. If that goes up to 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, you're going to see a complete reversal in the markets. So please come back tomorrow morning so I can tell you exactly what happened happened and I can show you the reaction. So if you're out there trying to buy your first house, you're looking to maybe refinance, you may want to see if, you know, can I buy an investment property? Dan, what do you do? Well, I'm a lonely mortgage officer out here trying to win your business. Um, if you want to learn more about me and my team, visit us at therateupdate.com. You can learn a whole bunch of information from here. There's tools and everything down below. But if you're trying to reach out to us to see, you know, can I buy that first house? Maybe can I buy that first investment property? Does a refinance making make make any sense well click the apply now button or or you can give us a call right down through here it gives you our 800 number as well as my email address and it is right through there if you're a first time home buyer the one thing i do want you to do and this was just brand new put on our website just last week right through here we have grant finders if you're anywhere out in the country click the national grants you can find them there and if you're in the chicagoland area you can find the grant for that as well right through here so thanks so much for watching guys i hope the numbers come back uh, tomorrow morning on the ppi much lower than expected it'll help spur up the housing business <laughs> so i know i'm going to get a lot of grief for that so i apologize i'll see you here tomorrow folks